some of my stuff and on my way to Yuba City which is about 30 to 40 minutes away and believe it or not I was able to get an Uber um, so far I got one coming we'll see how it works out you guys know how I feel about that and uh, we'll go check out this truck in uh, Uber City This is it. This is uh, R65. It's one of the newer trucks. And man, I tell you, when these things are shined up, that is one pretty blue. I like that. Look at that. Some good rubber on it. No bugs. This is what mine should look like. But there is a problem, my friends. Um, sad to report that the inside not match the outside. No, it looks good out here. It's pretty good. So, looks like the, whoever had this already backed into something. That should be straight up and down. But I'm not going to bitch about that. It's just someone else not paying attention. But the inside does not reflect the outside. This is all someone else's stuff, so the inside was not cleaned at all. And it's pretty bad in here. It's got the new LED screens, but yeah, big whoop de doo. But look, there's just trash everywhere. And there is a strange smell coming in just. The surfaces are all dirty, the floor is dirty, uh, the driver area, just everything has got a layer of gunk on it. You know, you can probably see it. Um, I have cleaned so many trucks before, I'm, I'm just not into cleaning all this up again. And this is not a marsupial pouch. The smells in here, there is a strange smell. And, um, Put on the air conditioning here. Where to put the key? You know, it, it looks like my other truck, but it's just not. You know, and it's, the inside's really dirty. Let's get some AC going. And um, the smell there's just the strangest smell. I'm, and I'm not trying to be rude or 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 anything. I'm just I could tell because the curtains were all closed and there's something rotten in the fridge which I'm not even gonna touch. I mean, somebody goes on vacation, they leave food in the fridge. I mean, it's just what you expect, but this is like what the LED stuff does. It says maintenance to do. But you know, you can scroll around and... Anyway, but it's just, it's too dry. You know, I, I'd spend an hour, hours just wiping down this area. I'd spend an hour just wiping down every little nook and cranny here. And um, anyway, it's just not, I'm, I'm gonna get this truck back to the yard and, and see if they need me to take a load up to Portland with it. But I, I can't move into this. I mean, inside all the cabinets, there's just a bunch of crap and stuff. I'd have to clear the whole thing out and then clean it. And we're talking hours. It's what I had to do to the other truck. And um, to my truck, R53, and I just, just not gonna be able to do it this time. And you know, the bad part is, is, you know, I don't, they've been so kind to me and you know, I don't want to come off as ungrateful. There are other people waiting in line for a truck, so it's not like this one's going to be sitting anytime soon. But um, it is, this one's not going to be for me. I'm willing to wait for mine. I'll wait in Portland. You know, I, I thought the inside would be in a little bit better shape than this, but, you know, I, I can't even live in here temporarily. You know, it's just, like I said, there's, there's this really bad smell. You know, and I'm not trying to say anything bad about any other driver, but there is an odd smell in here that I just... It's making me nauseous. It's making me nauseous. And uh, I gotta crack the window. And, uh, you know, I just stacked all my stuff there on the bed. And uh, I'm gonna get it back to the yard and, and, and talk to them, see if they want me to take a load up to Portland and then leave the truck there or leave the truck here and take a rental car. I don't know. I'll drive it up to Portland because, you know, I need to ride up there. But, you know, if, if moving a 
one load up there and and someone recovering the truck because maybe there's a driver up there that needs it if that will benefit everybody I'm, I'm willing to go that far with it but as far as living in here for a few weeks or even a week I, I just cannot I just I can't do it and I don't know what that says about me not too much uh, those are my thoughts right now Whew. anyway got some coffee and a little bite to eat somebody taught me this word recently halt halt like stop and halt stands for are you hungry are you angry are you lonely or are you tired and it's the best thing i've heard in a long time and um so that's what i'm doing i'm halting <laughs> And I went and got some food and some coffee. You know, that always makes me feel a lot better. But um, upon reflection, I still feel the same way. I can't live in this truck and I'm not interested in wiping it down. This truck is only about three months old and it's just amazing to me how people can abuse stuff and trash it so quickly. It's sad to me. Um, I looked around a little bit more and it's like every little nook and cranny has some some grime on it. Hey, for this guy. So I'm gonna head on back to the shop and like I said, I'm gonna come off as, uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna appear as, as ungrateful in the situation, but um, I'm just gonna be honest with the truth. And it's, uh, you know, I've, I've got a bad history with uh, having to clean up after other people and I'm just not doing it anymore. I'm 47 years old and I'm not cleaning up after anyone anymore. Fuck it, period. You know, and I don't mean any disrespect to anybody. I'm just not doing it. I clean up after myself and my loved ones and that's it. Anyone else could go fuck themselves. That's how I really feel about it. I'm, I'm not a paid janitor. If I was, and that, that'd be one thing. But I'm not. And, um, it's just not... Like I can tell this guy, he don't even use his radio. It's kind of a scary thought. Anyway, yeah, almost brand new truck, and the inside is just trashed. It's sad to me. All right, my friends, heading back to uh, Woodland. Let's see what happens. strange sound to it. It doesn't sound right. And this, I don't like this. Man, we gotta get a chain and pull it back out. It'll never give anyone a reason to drive into your ass in. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, man. It's like brand new. That should be good. This work? Uh, yeah. Look at it. my current condensed pile and so looking at it you know half of this stuff is redundant it's extra paper towels toilet paper baby wipes some food and stuff some pillows you see that in bedding so honestly a solid third probably a half of this I mean this is just extra garbage bags things that were in the truck when I found it and what's behind it there is, is a bucket and my broom and so so like half of this honestly I, I could just ditch but then I'd have to re rebuy it I mean I can't really leave it here at the shop someone's gonna be using this office so there's really nowhere to put it 
So I may have to let some stuff go if I catch a ride back with another driver. But um, yeah, looking at it, I um, feel a little bit better about things because I could literally, there's a dumpster out there, or I could recycle this into the office, reinvest it, put the paper towels over there where the paper towel stock is and all that stuff. But yeah, about half of this stuff I can walk away from. No problem. So it's really not as bad as it looks, but I would like to keep it all if I could. Anyway, um, brought the tractor back over here, dropped it off, cleared out my stuff, and um, you know, we had a little conversation about it, and they understand. And uh, they were expecting the inside to be detailed as well as the outside. And so they don't feel like they got what they paid for out of that. And I agree. And there's no one else available to detail the inside, so kind of had to stop. Um, took it over there to the shop and had them you know, do some of the maintenance issues on it. Um, or at least put it, put it in there so it could be worked on. And uh, let's see, rental cars. So it's about $600 on average to go from the Sacramento airport to the Portland airport in a rental car. That doesn't include the gas. So 600 plus, and it's about $100 in gas each way. So we can have a $700 trip in a rental car. And that's about three times higher than it normally would cost, but there's a national shortage of rental cars available all across the country. So that's what's driven the prices up. It's complete bullshit. Um, so yeah, so waiting on hopefully a driver that's gonna come up here and pick up a trailer and um, head north with it towards Portland. Um, you know. It just happens to be on a day there's not a lot of loads going north to Portland, so there hasn't been a lot of drivers in and out of the yard here. But there will be eventually, either later today, tonight, tomorrow, at some point, and that's probably how I'll get back. Uh, maybe. All right, the 5 p.m. update. Back in the stinky truck, right? I got all my stuff back there. All of it this time. It was looking like I was basically stranded down there. Couldn't get a ride back up to Portland. Uh, when any drivers coming in today, maybe later tonight, there is one uh, coming in that would be leaving tomorrow morning to go to Portland, and I was going to ride with him. And I was also looking at maybe some ride shares from Craigslist and a train ticket, believe it or not, which was actually pretty affordable still sounded like a good idea but it turned out that uh this tractor that i recovered for them and brought back and have decided to not drive uh, needs to go into the shop yes it's due for a full service it's due for a tune-up it's due for service a couple other things so it needs to go into the shop and they can't go into the sacramento shop because of course it'll be a month right and uh, so we're gonna put it in the shop closer to Portland. So they found a load that's basically going in that area. I'll take it up there and drop the trailer kind of close to there. Then I'll drop the tractor off at Freightliner and hopefully one of my friends will come pick me up. So that's how I'm getting back to Portland. All right. What a day. And uh, so I'm getting a late start. I don't know how long I'll drive tonight. Obviously, I feel pretty rested, so I'll go a little bit longer than normal into the night. But, um, yeah, I'll be there sometime tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And uh, I'll at least I'll, I'll be up in Portland area. All my stuff will be with me. And uh, so, if anything, you know, I'm grateful for how, at least so far, for how the situation worked out. At least I'll be getting up there with all of my stuff. To get rid of anything and uh, yeah so yeah what a fiasco what an ordeal what a caper and, and now that I'm driving this truck down the road um yeah I'm, I'm, I feel more solid about my decision uh, to not be interested in driving this truck it's just I know they look the same, but this is just, it's really different than my truck. And it could be that smell. 
know, I've got the windows up right now for the video, but there, there is a smell in here that I just, you know, I think it would have to sit somewhere with the windows down for days. I don't know how long it would take to get the smell out, and I don't know exactly what it is. I'm not saying it's like a bad smell, like a body odor smell. I don't know what it is. I just know it's nauseating. What a day. Um, and glad to be going back to, I guess, what I call home. 